bring two couples, and by extension, thousands more. The Reverend Troy Perry received a rainbow key in 1998. Robin Tyler took home her award in 2007. Both of them are longtime activists who have fought tirelessly to advance the gay and lesbian community, and they continue to do so today. But they don't do it alone, do they? Yeah. No, they don't. <laughs> you want me to say more? <laughs> Um, Robin Tyler has been blessed with a partner by the name of Diane Olson. And Diane is always in the background, except both she and Robin are two of the plaintiffs uh, in the marriage fight. And then when it comes to Troy and Philip de Blick, de Blick, de Blick, de Blick, you know, I had that down before I came. <laughs> anyway, Troy and his partner, Philip, um, for years, they've been how many years? 24. 24. And Robin, how many years? 16. 16. One, one according to the government. <laughs> That's true, one. Anyway, um, Philip and Diane, um, I would like to invite both of you to the stage um, to receive an award for being the support, the, 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 the clue that keeps your partners moving forward. And <laughs>
Well, it made me stop and ask myself if this was something that I was willing to do. It was quite a commitment, especially since it seemed like an unobtainable objective that would probably just drag on for years and years, going nowhere. How in the world would we ever be able to change laws and rewrite history? It seemed too much to hope for, but I could tell that it meant so much to Troy, so I said yes. And I think that it was that conscious decision, along with my commitment, that I am being honored today. I, I like to think that all great changes in history started with someone just saying yes, even against unimaginable odds or maybe because of them. It's so easy to listen to that defeatist voice inside one's head and not take any action. But fortunately, Troy's voice is louder and much more persuasive. <laughs> I have a small list of individuals that I would like to publicly thank. First, thank you to Diane Olson and Robin Tyler, who have tirelessly traveled down this road with Troy Knight. Uh, to our attorneys, Gloria Allred and Associates, who represented us with such passion and unwavering conviction, I owe you all a huge debt of gratitude. Thank you all to my family and friends. Each one of you has brought something special to my life. Of course, I have to thank my mother, Joy Benson, for instilling in me strong family values and teaching me that the greatest gift in life is the act of giving and receiving unconditional love. And finally, to my husband, Reverend, Reverend Troy Perry, who has shown me a life so rich and blessed, I can't thank you enough. It is because of you that I know what real love is and that I live such a rewarding life. And regardless of what anyone says or does, I know in my heart and in my soul that we are married. And I love you. Okay, that brings our festivities for this year to a close. We'd like to remind you that the lesbian gay <laughs>